for number three. So for number three, number four becomes a successor and number two becomes a predecessor. Same way, if I have a number four, number five becomes a successor number and number three becomes a predecessor. So let me write here, this is the number, this is the successor. Okay, this can continue forever. So here, if I have a number n, I can say that one incremented to that will give me a successor. So I can add one to this to get a successor. And one decrement to this can give me a predecessor. So this will give me a predecessor. So this way I can find a pattern or I can find an algebraic expression for a successor with a successor of a number is always n plus 1 and a predecessor of a number is always n minus 1 for a number n. Now, this is was one of the example. Let's take one more example here. I have some numbers here 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 and so on. Now if you see this number, this number is more like multiples of 2. So if I have a number with the multiples of 2, I can denote this number with 2n. So this if I put n, n equal to 1, I get 2. When I put n equal to 2, I get 4. When I put n equal to 3, I get 6 and so on. So this becomes a 2n, 2n as my algebraic expression. But if you see this number more closely, I have written a pattern for the even numbers. So here, can I say that for even numbers, the algebraic expression is 2n? So that I can put any value of n and find out what is the even number. So two, this gives me the pattern for the even numbers. Now there will be a question, then what would be the pattern for odd numbers? For odd numbers, the pattern would be 2n plus 1. So 2n plus 1 will give me always a odd number because 2n is an even number. So if I add 1 to it or if I subtract 1 to it, I will always get an odd number. So this will be the pattern for odd number or an algebraic expression for the odd number. Now going ahead with this, I would like to talk in this about some patterns. You can see this is a square. You can see this is two squares, three squares, and four squares. So now there will be a question what I am trying to do. So here I have a square. To form this square, I need four different lines one, two, three, four. So I have one square, I need four lines. I have two squares to form. So anybody can count how many lines it would be? It would be seven lines. I have three squares and it would be ten lines. I have four squares. We'll count the nine lines. It would be thirteen. 
So I have a pattern here that I have some 1, 2, 3, 4 squares and I have some number of lines. So let me form, try to find, find an algebraic expression for it for say n number of squares. To find out same, let us try to find out the relation between the given entities. I have one square, I need four lines. Can I form an algebraic expression like uh, 4 when n is equal to 1 so I will multiply 4 with n and that gives me an algebraic expression and you can see okay it's 4n but it has to satisfy all for all the number of squares so let us see if this 4n actually satisfies the equation for this n is equal to 2 so this will become 4 into 2 so this will give me 8 lines so which is not true that means what I am trying to do here is not correct. So 4n is not the right 4n is not the right way of an algebraic expression we can say a right way of deriving an algebraic expression for this problem. Let us try with 3n. I have a 3n. That means I will try with the first equation where my n is equal to 1. If I have an n equal to 1, 3 into 1. That gives me 3. Now I actually have 4 lines. So let me try and add in 3 and 1. So now this 3 into 1 plus 1 will actually give me 4 lines. So if I have n number of squares, I multiply it with 3 plus 1 is actually giving me 4 for n equal to 1. This condition satisfied. Let us say what happens for n equal to 2. For n equal to 2, for the same algebraic expression, 3 2 are 6 plus 1 7. Okay, 7 lines. So yes, this is satisfying for n equal to 2 also. The same algebraic expression. Let us take for n equal to 3. Okay, it satisfies for n equal to 3 also and so on. So, now we have come across an algebraic ex expression 3n plus 1 to form the, uh, which is where n is equal to number of squares and the expression actually gives the value or expression actually gives what will be the number of lines required to form that square. I hope this example is clear to you how we have done it. We have actually taken up the numerical pattern and from the trial and error method we have found out an algebraic expression for how many lines would be required for n number of squares. Okay, let me take one more example to reinforce the same thing. I have a pattern here.